Hey guys, Mark here again. Hey, so I'm taking a look at this Viper that a buddy of mine bought used. He was over here um, yesterday, actually. We were doing a little racing and he bought like three Vipers. He got a pretty good deal on them. This was, one of them was supposed to be a poly mod. And if I remember correctly, the poly mod is supposed to have a 2.5 ohm balanced arm. Um, it also had albino rear tires, so I don't know where these tires came from. But my buddy said that the brushes inside the end bell literally kind of just crumbled and fell apart. So he actually took this apart and he bought a new end bell and he put it back together. Um, but it's just not running how I would expect a 2.5 ohm Viper to run. I mean, it's pretty quick on the track, but on the dyno, um, let's see here. It's, it's not even up in the four. It, take, it takes a lot just to get this thing in the four range. And from my experience working with Vipers, 2.5 ohm Viper, all of my 2.5 ohm Vipers are up close, closer to five. So I have my doubts if this is really a 2.5 ohm armature. I told him I would take a look at it. So we're gonna do a little investigating. I'm gonna break down this chassis. It is balanced, I could see that just by looking at one of the stacks there. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna use my tools here, mainly the spreader. We're gonna pop this thing apart. And actually, let me take the pickup shoes off first. Take the springs out. It was a, it is a Pro 10 car, though he did pick up these Max Traction Pro 10s, so he actually took out the regular Pro 10s and put the uh, Maxi Traction ones in, so. Um, so yeah, let's take, I wanna ohm out this armature. That's what I'm curious to see what ohm this motor, this armature really is. All right, so let's do that. Feels like a, does feel like a stiffer chassis, so might be some merit to the fact that it's a, it was a poly mod at one point, it has a flanged, Rear bushing. Um, although again, my buddy did some work on this, so I'm not sure what he replaced new. Um, other than I know this, um, that's a new, uh, a new end bell there. See any spacers on the top? Got a couple of spacers on the back. All right. Let's see. I bring the camera up a little bit here so you can try and see my own meter. Hopefully, I can do this all on the camera. All right. Let's see if we can try and get a reading on some of these windings here. Magnifying glass. Uh, it's a three. It looks like it's a three ohm. Well, actually, I am lo I am losing point four, just point three, just in the um, resistance of the of the leads here to the to the ohm meter. So we gotta we gotta subtract off point three. Yeah, it is 2.5, 2.8 minus the 0.3. Let's see if we can get all three windings a reading. Yeah, 
second. That one's also two two point five. And that one's also 2.5. All right, well, there's that. It is a 2.5 ohm balanced armature. Just not sure why it's it's not running um, as good as I would expect it to, at least on the dyno. So let's see what we can do. Now, another thing, this is a new... This is a new end bell. I did let this run on my dyno here in the break-in mode for at least 30 minutes yesterday, but maybe that's part of it. Maybe we just need to break it in a little bit more. I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna clean up uh, this chassis a little bit. We'll re-oil it, put it all back together and re-oil it. We'll be right back. All right, so I've cleaned up the chassis. I've cleaned up the armature. I cleaned the commutator. Wasn't too bad. It's a little, little scored, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. I'm gonna just pause the camera while I do this. I don't need to show you yet another assembly of a Viper chassis. So I'll be right back. Okay. We got the motor back together. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little bit of oil. A little dab there. A little dab in the back. All right, I'm gonna put our, our magnets in. Again, we're gonna put these in high downforce mode. So you wanna make sure the surface touching or facing the rail sticks to the side of the motor and these max traction ones only go in one way because of that flared out back the, the magnet clip retainer is there's only a little spot for it to grab on so if you put them backwards you won't be able to put the retainer clip on So you can see right there and right there there's enough of an edge to for the clip to grab on. Okay. Gonna uh Pause again for a second, just put all the electrics back, put the springs and shoes back on. All right, so we got the car all back together. Um, I did put these firmer Albino 340 front tires on. My buddy had bought some new front tires, but he went real low. He, he went with like a, a 0 0.33. 0.326 I think I'm not sure why he went that low but um, I'm also going to swap out these medium compound this is definitely not the rear tires that would come on this car I think these are sitting at like a 440 442 I had a spare pair of albinos I'm not sure what size they were, though. These might be a little big. Let's see. Let's see if they're any smaller or at least the same as... Oh, they are smaller. That's good. Yeah, these are... These are sitting at like a 436. That should be pretty good. Yeah, 436. So let's... Good, I like that. And this is a 20, hmm, it's a 23 tooth crown gear, which is fine. I mean, he could probably could go with a 22 tooth that would help it. My cars all have 22 tooth crown gears, so that might be why I'm getting a little more faster lap times. Because my 2.5 ohm cars, they, they all do on my track uh, in the low twos, like 2.2 2 
2.2, somewhere around there, 2.3, 2.2. This was, I was struggling to get a 2.5 with this. It was doing more like 2.7, so. Um, all right, let's, let's give the rear axle a little bit of oil. Feels pretty good. How does that gear mesh? Where is that gear sitting? Yeah, that, I adjusted that yesterday. Looks like it's sitting pretty good. Could probably go up a little bit. Yeah, gonna adjust the uh, pinion gear. Hold on a second. All right, let's just pop that up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. All right, let's see what this thing does on the dyno now. That's a little better. We're almost hitting the fours. See, that's, that's why I don't, I don't get it. It's being settled down. It actually goes lower. Hmm. Oh, hold on. My uh, power supply wasn't at 18.5, but still, it was in the, not that much off. Yeah, see, these are two of my 2.5 ohm cars. Four, eight, seven. And this is another 2.5 ohm car. This one's running in the five. See, this is what I would expect to be closer to five. This car runs good. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it's just something with this armature or not. It is a 2.5 on armature per the meter. And these are both 2.5 ohm, and this thing's running in, you know, 3, 3, 8. What was it? <clears throat> yeah, 3, 6, 7. Could very well be. Let's try the 22 tooth gear. Maybe I'm I'm missing the basics here. Because, like I said, my uh, all of my uh, low ohm cars are are running. Uh, yeah, 22 tooth gear. <laughs> Well, gets us up into the almost the fours. Still though, still a little off. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still a very fast car. <laughs> to that other 
also put a little bit stiffer at these these pickup shoe springs that were in it felt a little yeah, they might be nines I put some point nines in here gotta find his uh, I lost a uh, axle pin somewhere <laughs> um, yeah I don't know I mean everything else checks out to me I mean the motor is spaced pretty good there's a very little play back and forth in the armature so he has it spaced pretty good um yeah it's just is what it is i guess it's just this armature without knowing where this armature came from if it is truly a viper armature don't know but i couldn't play around a little bit more i just was curious i really wanted to own the ohm it out and see uh, if it truly was a 2.5 ohm armature, which it, it does appear to be, so. But not all 2.5 ohm armatures are, are created equally. This is balanced, but mine are, mine are trued and epoxied, so I don't know, maybe, maybe mine are just a little bit better grade 2.5 ohm armature than what was put in here. This appears to be uh, just balanced 2.5 ohm arm, but nothing else done to it. So maybe that's enough to make it lag behind a little bit on compared to my cars. Yeah. All right, guys, I don't want to get too long. Well, wow, this video is already over 16 minutes long, but anyway, right, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking that out, and we'll talk with everybody soon. Hope everyone's doing well.